going to involve increasing efficiency of the vehicle based on what we've learned so far through the X Prize and the driving, the 2,500 miles driving on the highways that we've done since then. We know that we can get 217 miles to the gallon. We know we have a 199 mile range. We know we can trailer a, a rocket trike from Springfield to Champaign. We also know that we need to be able to pull a little more current. We'd like to be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 6 seconds. We also know that our AC is in front, and every time we have to do anything with the motor and transmission, we have to pull all the AC equipment out. We're going to put that in back. To increase the power, we're going to up our fuses to 700 amp from 350 amp. The batteries, the controller, and the motor can all handle it. Uh, it's well within the range of the 2000 amp peak for a certain period of time. We're going to work on the body. I don't know how closely you can see the body right now, especially with my derriere on it. What I do like about this vehicle is it's very stout. It's strong. We can sit and lean on it. I want to keep it that way. But we need to smooth this out a little more. We were in a hurry for the event in order to get it as smooth and painted and stuff as quickly as we could. And we didn't get all the fit and finish done. Uh, we didn't get Dick Taylor's. Guy Taylor over Dick Taylor said he was going to paint the vehicle for us and take care of a bunch of that. We never had time to get it to him. So we're going to be talking to him again. We're going to be replacing the headlights. We're going to be removing these bumpers and putting an internal bumper in. I know everyone likes the 39 Ford headlights and the 70 and a half Camaro bumpers. So do I. But we're going to improve the aerodynamics. The front end aerodynamics can be increased by about 5% by modifying those two pieces. We're going to make the hood hinge again. Now it's a takeoff hood. Uh, we're going to modify the dash and other parts on the car. We're going to make the doors a little bit lighter by putting the steel cross support in that they're supposed to have and removing the excess weight we don't need. We also have to put some good drip edges in here. We're going to be talking to a buddy of ours that uh, uh, a friend we made while at the uh, XPRIZE events. He's an expert in bodywork, carbon fiber, Kevlar, uh, fiberglass, foam, honeycomb, anything you can imagine. He builds frames, he does bodies, all that kind of stuff. He gave us a bunch of help earlier on that we were very thankful for. We're going to thank him again, but we're hoping to get him in some videos here pretty soon. Okay, uh, we're going to replace the transmission. Uh, we've got to grease our rack. It's a manual rack. We turned the power rack into manual, so now we've got to grease it. We're going to change the AC. We're going to fix the body lines, uh, lighten the car a little bit. We can lighten the car by about 100 pounds without changing the frame right now, which will increase our efficiency by about 3% at highway speeds. Uh, in town, it can increase it as much as 6%. That won't be done this winter though. By March 15th, or St. Patty's Day, the 17th, we have to have the car all the way back together, body finish, drip edges done, paint job back on it, because we've promised some guys, uh, I'm going to slaughter his last name here, so I'll just say the first name, Vic. He's involved with the Italian American War Veterans Society. They raise funds to send World War II vets out to Washington, D.C. so they can see the memorial before they pass. Uh, we're going to help them with that this next spring, but it requires that we have everything done before the end of March and the car driving so that we can go to their event and they can sell photos of people with the vehicle and help raise them, raise cash. 100% of the funds raised from that event go to World War II vets to get them out to that memorial so they can see the, the memorial that the U.S. has put in place to honor them for what they've done for us in World War II. Uh, what else are we working on? We're still working with Roush and XPRIZE. Uh, there's a lot of top secret stuff there. Why I say it's top secret is because they haven't told me yet. All I know is that we're going to be doing work with Roush by March 31st. It has to be done. So another reason to have this all completed by the middle of March, we're hoping to do some coast down testing with Roush yet. We're going to see what happens there. We would like to get some official dyno test numbers, some EPA test numbers that we could post in our window. The numbers we tell you right now, 119 for in-town and 183 for the highway are the consumer report test following the EPA test on a track. Those are our certifiable numbers. The numbers that we tell you when we go out and driving, this is what we got, this is the best we can do. These are not certified numbers. Our certified numbers are 119 in town, 183 on the highway. Check out the, uh, the new numbers they have out, the EPA has out for the Chevy Volt and the Leaf, the Nissan Leaf. Uh, those are MPGE numbers, miles per gallon equivalent. They adopted, EPA adopted the equivalency standard that XPRIZE was using. That's what all of our numbers are based on. Now you have a standard by which you can look at gasoline, electric, or hybrid, and it will tell you what the mileage is for a gallon of gasoline equivalent, how far your, your car would go if that were pure gasoline. We carry a little less than one gallon of gas in this vehicle in electricity. We're going to up that a little bit. We're going to try to put a couple more batteries in. We'd like to carry a full gallon. 
then we can get a truer test of each time we go out how far we can get on a gallon. And we have decided that this next year we're taking on Guinness, Guinness Book of World Records. It's not a record till it's in Guinness. We're going to see how many of them we can set in a single day. We're going to try for highest speed for an electric vehicle, for an electric sedan. We know the vehicle speeds are pretty high right now for electric cars, but ours is a street legal electric sedan licensed in the state of Illinois and insured. Not many of those out there. We're going to try for distance, efficiency, payload, acceleration. Our acceleration time is 0 to 60 down to 8.4 seconds. With the increase from, from the 350 to the 700 amp fuses, we should be able to drop that down easily to 6 seconds. We're going to have troubles with our traction limit at that point. Okay, well, Nate and Dad are here with me today. Josh and George were here earlier. Thomas is putting an engine in at his shop. We're going to be taking the transmission out to Thomas. We're going to see what we can do about making a shifter for it so that we have a simplified linkage. We only need third and fourth gear. Go ahead and say it out loud, Nate. Thomas Automotive Precision. Thomas Automotive Precision. Thank you. Thomas owns his own shop, Thomas Automotive Precision, in Springfield, Illinois. And because he owns his own shop, he works seven days a week, even though he's only supposed to work five, and that's where he is today. And we're going to take the transmission to him. We're going to tear it apart, and then we're going to take it over to Mike's over at Capital City Machine Shop, Machine and Dot. Mike does an awesome job. He's an expert on making parts for cars, and he is a master machinist. What more could you ask for? What we're going to start doing now is this, this, we just took the car out for its last ride. It's about 25 degrees, 30 degrees out today, and we're able to do 0 to 60 in 8.7 seconds. Cold does affect the batteries. Colder right now, it's 20 or 30. If it gets to 0, even though it's 30 or 40 degrees colder right now than it was during the summer, the effect from 30 to 0 is twice that it is from 60 to 30-ish. I guess that's it for now. Uh, I probably babbled on way too long, so this is the last time you're going to see the car intact until March. All right, guys, uh, until next time, thank you. Oh, and Wolfgang, woo! We'll see you next summer.